Hi, it's Mr. Collie here. We're having a play around in the new beta version of Scratch 2, which is web-based, um, and it looks very similar, to be honest. Um, there are a few new bits and bobs that I'll point out as we go along, but if you want to try it out, it's beta.scratch.mit.edu. Um, and I've been trying to work out how to make a brick like this one crack up and break the more hits it gets with the ball. Um, so here we go. I've made a basic bouncing ball game with a paddle and a brick. I'll just let that bounce around for a moment. And the ball bounces off the brick and it bounces off the paddle and it bounces off the sides. But what we're going to do now is try and make the brick smash up the more hits it gets. So to do that, if we look at my brick, and this is one of the new changes to beta. You've got the scripts, costumes and sounds tabs up here. Go to costumes and you'll see I've got a full costume, a slightly smashed costume, and a very smashed costume. So, back to the brick, I've just set a script up that will make it switch to the full costume at the start of the game. And now I need something that's going to count the number of hits that it's got. So I'm going to make a variable, which is now in data rather than the variables. I'm going to call it brick1hits. So if I just tick that, I've already made it, there it is. Now if I go to my ball, I want to make my ball add one to this brick one hits variable every time it hits the brick. So here's my script for when, you touch, when you're touching the brick. So all I'll do there is, it's already got the bounce commands in, I'll just add change brick one hits by one in there as well. And I'm going to put a little weight 0.5 of a second in there just so that it doesn't fire up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as quickly as it can when it's touching the brick. Now, let's hope it's going to hit the brick now. If I just make it a bit bigger, it might stand more of a chance. And I'll just let that bounce around and we'll try and test it out. This is where I singularly failed to hit the brick. There we go, 1. And hopefully when it'll hit it again, it'll go two, and so on. Yep, there we are. Seems to be working. Very nice. So, first of all, I'll go to the stage, and I'll write a little script here that sets the brick one hits to zero every time we restart the game. Like that. Then, I'll go to my brick, and what I'm going to do is go to wait until... And I need an operator here, and it's an equals. So I won't wait until brick one hits equals. Come on, in you go. One. And then in my looks, I want it to switch to costume. And I've called it break one. I'll just duplicate, I'll just pull that away and duplicate it, then wait until it equals break 2, and finally, one more, wait until it equals 3, and then I don't want it to switch to a costume at all, I want it to disappear. So let's see if it works, see if I can hit it 3 times. This is where I fail to hit it completely. It should be switching costumes. Let's try starting at a different angle. Come on. Oh. We're getting close. We'll try again. Hello, I've trapped it. Ray, there we go. It switched the costume. Two. And come on, give us another hit. Let's check that it disappears. <laughs> Go on, hit it. Well, I'm going to leave you in suspense there unless it touches it before I've finished it. But that's how to make a brick that...
cracks up and disappears the more hits it gets. You'll have to make your own and find out if it does actually disappear.